Thank you for accessing our online NFER test analysis tool. We hope you find this to be a useful tool in monitoring and analysing your pupils' results. The administration section of the online hub has four main areas manage staff, manage pupils, manage data, and account information. In manage staff, you can add new staff members. reset passwords, edit their account details, or delete accounts from the system. In Manage Pupils, you can upload your pupil data files by using our downloadable template. Or, through the View and Edit option, add individual pupils, Edit or delete individual pupils. Or delete full year groups. In account information, you can see all products your school has access to and view the terms and conditions of any of these. In Manage Data, you can export all the data held for your school in the system, or you can delete just product or product and pupil data. To access the Test Analysis tool, go to NFER Classroom Tools and select the NFER Test Analysis tool. From here, you can enter data, view results and generate reports. But first, you need to select the pupils you would like to work with. You can do this at school level, key stage level, year group level, or by individual class. To enter data, you will need to select which assessment you would like to input data for. There are three ways to enter data, by pupil, by question, or by total score. To view results, you will have to select the subject, year, term, and type of score you would like to view. If you wish to generate a report, there are a few you can choose from. Age-related expectation reports can be viewed by pupil and by subject, and can be tracked across different years. To view a standardised progress report, you will need to select the two assessments you would like to track progress between. You can hover over points on the graph to see which pupil they refer to. Question level analysis requires you to select which assessment you would like to see the analysis for. You can view the average raw score of the group as well as the score by individual questions and the difference between this and the average of a standardised sample so you can see how you are performing. The Programme of Study report also requires you to select which assessment you would like to see the report for. You can view each Programme of Study area within that assessment 
the total number of marks available, and your class's average. We hope you find this to be a useful tool. For further support, please visit the support page where you will be able to download our user guide and view more videos.